welcome back to another one of our drawing tutorials. Today we're going to be covering a complicated shape, which we're going to simplify so people can, can do it better. And this shape is a Stormtrooper helmet. This is a Stormtrooper helmet from A New Hope. I know there's variations in them. There's things that va that uh, change. But this is the one that is represented from A New Hope, which is episode four, the, the original Star Wars. So let's, let's take a go at it. So we always try to do the envelope. Um, and any of my tutorials, which is to try to get a shape around where we will not get out of. And th this is not any different. We're going to, we're going to put our, sh our line in the bottom and we're going to try to get our line at the top and we're going to try to stay in there. Now I'm using a, a prospect, which is, uh, a, a proportional divider, but you can use your pencil to measure also distances. In fact, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and show you the proportions that this has with this divider and then I'm going to use my pencil to measure. So, let's get started here. So, let's see. Uh, I I'm, I'm going to try to make a big shape here. Uh, I, and and I'm going to make first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my my center line and I'm going to draw that, okay? And I'm going to do that wherever it is that I'm doing it very light. It's a very light center line. There we go. And then now uh, that's the bottom and that's the top more or less. So let's see, I see a very strong shape right here. I see a very strong shape right here. If I make the bottom of this line, the center of that circle, and now the circle may be out of our shape, but at least we know where it comes in and out and we can remove that space from it. But getting a circle to start and seeing what lines up with it uh, so that we can cross reference that with other parts, other landmarks is important. So let's see, this is, I'd like to do a circle that's about that big. We can cut the top off it, but that big. So let's see uh, if we did a circle there. Let's see. Let's figure from the center line to the side. So my radius there. If I went ahead and did my radius there and I went off the bottom right here. Let's see where we would go. So we'd be about a pencil above the top there, and that would line us up. Let me see. That would line us up with almost the corners of the frown and almost this edge here. Let's see something. Am I, uh, am I really on that circle? Or am I, I'm slightly, we can make it a little bit bigger. That's about, here's another thing. This is not a, this photograph is not that symmetrical. And I know that these initial helmets were made, were, were sculpted from clay. So there is, they're not that asymmetrical. It's not like a machine made them. So things aren't going to line up perfectly, but I think that this works the best. I think if we go just, just on the line right above the visors, the glasses, the, the lenses, we'll be fine. So let's go ahead and do that. Now let's see. I, I have my, I have my pencil here and what I do, I get the tip, as you've seen me do before, I put it on the edge and my thumb, I line it up right on the line, right on that center line. So then I come here and I put my thumb right on the center line and then I press with the tip and there's one side. Now we do the other. Same thing. So there we go. Now let's figure it from the top. So I'm taking a look here. So from the top down, so that's going to be my center line of that circle, my equator my divider, put it in there. And then I'm going to get this and I'm going to do this same distance down. And that gives me more or less my, my boundaries to do my circle. Now, if you got a compass, by all means, you can go ahead and use it. And please, before you start doing these uh, drawings, in the video section, I always have this reference. You can print that out and use that. Okay, so there we go. 
we've got that there. And then we know this is the, the top of the visors. So let's see. Now I see two shapes here. So, so let's do that here. Let's see where that falls. Okay, so now I see two shapes that are very strong here. I see a big circle right here. And it's touching. And let's see that circle. I bet you that circle is about the half. There's no coincidences here. There's no coincidences here. So from the center, so from the center here, balance shapes. Shapes that look good, that are aesthetically pleasing, have balance. And when they have balance, they have shapes that are repeated. So I see a circle here. And I see a circle here. Again, guys, more or less. More or less. And now, that's our circle right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come out from that center with these lines. I'm gonna angle my pencil. I'm gonna go to the center line here. See the, see it there? I'm gonna angle my pencil just like that. And I'm going to come straight up. I'm going to angle my pencil. I'm gonna put it right there and I'm gonna come straight down. So that's, and then I'm gonna do the same here from the bottom of that circle. I'm going to do the same over here from the bottom of that circle. And I think we more or less have the construction line set so we can build this thing. So uh, let's see. Here we go. So on this circle right here, on these circles right here, I can tell that this comes out and over. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It comes out and over and out same thing over here out and over and out there we go and then here right on the bottom this flattens out a little bit let's go ahead and do that between this point and this point we're going to do a line and we're going to cut this in there just like that okay well, let's see what this looks like we're going to break this circle in half so about if we break these circles in half more or less we are going to let's see just Break the circle in half. We're going to break this half in half. And that's the top. That's going to be the top of, of this piece right here. It's like an A. And it comes into the circles. So. That's going to come down there. And then. We're going to do two circles. Down here. Only problem is when we do that circle, the top here is actually a line that continues into the circle. Here's a line that continues into the circle. And inside here, there's a dark shape. So it's like a square. It's like a rectangle there. Then another rectangle. It's a little bit of an angle, more or less. And that shape there, that, that's what it looks like. It looks like there's a little bit coming down here, but it doesn't have to be that precise for the first time. All righty, that's good. So let's, uh, let's keep on figuring this out. There's a frown here that comes up. And that frown is about, so if we break this in half, and we were to break that in half, it looks like that frown is in that second one. It's about a pencil thick, more or less at the top. And it, it'll come down. It 
and it goes just outside this circle, just outside this. All right. Now we already did another piece here. It's important because this is like one big mouthpiece. So this comes down. And then it turns into here. And it comes down and turns into here. That's one big mouthpiece that these guys have, the stormtroopers have there. Now, back here, we're going to do a, uh, like a bean, like a circle. We're going to do like a circle here. And that's part of like the filter. Okay. And, uh, and that's, that's going to, that's really just a, a line that's going to join up now with something else over here. So on the sides here, well, you know, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do this brow here. Now, look, you can actually see that it, it has a slight angle like this. It has a slight angle like this. And then it, 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 it curves a little bit. It curves a little bit, even though it's almost dead on straight. If you did a straight back line, it would be fine, too. But it does curve a little bit. And it does curve here a little bit. And then it sticks out just a little bit out of the sides of the helmet. It does do that. Because it does. it is pretty thick. It's about the thickness of this pencil. Maybe a little thinner. So I'm going to put that there. And then right below the eyes. Let's center those eyes. Let's figure that out. So in this circle, if you break this circle in half, this, this half here, you break it in half. And this half, you break it in half. And then you further break that in half and that in half. And you, those are quarters now. Your eye is going to be almost touching this. So it's going to be slightly above that. And it's going to come down from here and from here, the center line. And then it's going to start on, it's going to start on these quarters. So this is going to curve in. And then it's going to curve up like this. That's about right. And then this one is going to come down here. And it's going to curve up. So that's about right. Now we got to, we got to make this symmetrical because we're a little bit, we adjust it. There we go. And then, uh, so those are our eyes right there. And um, let's, let's figure out the head. So the circle goes up to about here. And it, and it gets cut off. So we're going to just cut off about a pencil just off the top there, like that. And we're going to bring that straight up a little bit out of it. Come back down. And that's about right. It's got a little bit of a curve there. Now, again, this is not our final. When we do our final, uh, it's uh, with the blue pencil. So let, let's keep on going. This is going to come straight down. This is going to come straight down. And it's going to join this. It's going to join that. And there's an interesting earpiece. It sticks out on the side. See, this is what we just did. So maybe they, it looks like they got a little bit of an angle, but that's okay. Just try to, we try to be as symmetrical as we can. Now, there's an earpiece that goes out here. And that's actually reflected like a little bit of a curve, but because it's got multiple pieces in it, but um, we're going to put that piece in there. And we're going to put it over here. And then that piece has a, a piece on the bottom that does curve and comes around the back too. Like this. This is an entire earpiece. That that piece actually there, there's an entire earpiece when you assemble one of these things. And then it's got like a nub. I guess that's some sort of hearing device for them to be able to listen. It's a microphone, I guess, built in. And um, following this, this circle here, just a little bit straighter here. 
and here. And then um, this is now we're giving it the shape. And then this is the top of this. Remember these little pieces we did here? This is the top of it over here. And over here is the same thing. And uh, there's some pieces here. So these actually look, these goggles, if you look at them, they've got like an edge around them. And they actually look like goggles that were uh, probably vacuum form when they designed these. So we're going to do that design here. We're going to do the goggle around it. And it's got this very distinct shape because there's a big hump here. So they come up and they curve up. And I think Ray, when you see, when you look at her for the first time, she's got a set of goggles that look just like if she had cut them out of armor. For sure they made it out of that or they cast it out of that. Now this is, yeah, this is a little thinner here. And um, for this, uh, for this frown here, I just do a couple of lines like this. And I paint those dark. I mean, it's really alternating gray and black, gray and black. I just paint. I paint the big pieces dark because this is not really a two-tone piece. And then the last thing left is right under these goggles, there's a sticker and there's like a filter that comes out of there. And that's just, that's just a, it comes down almost at the bottom tip and then it circles from the top here like this. And I think that's it, the only thing pending. Maybe these circles gotta be a little bigger. Maybe these gotta be a little bigger now that I'm looking at it. I have to be a little bigger and then you do a circle right in the middle. Those are the mics. And that goes to the back. That goes to the back and that's a mic and what goes black is uh, the back part, the front stays light. And uh, I think that's, well, we've got some sticker. We've got some filters up here too. On the top here, it's just a little, a little rectangle on the side here. And then we've got some, some blue, we've got some little lines that come across the top here. We've got it on this side over here. And again, they're pretty close. And uh, I think that's that's good. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and ink this. So uh, I, I don't I'm not really using ink per se with a pen. I'm using a marker because a lot of you don't have it. Uh, I am going to make some adjustments. You'll see that I'll be measuring and making some adjustments. But uh uh, this is the idea. It's not going to come out the first time. Mine is not exactly like this one, but it, it looks similar enough. Uh, I think I'm a little bit wider, and I'm going to try to correct that when I do my, my marker now. I'm going to try to connect that and make it a little bit thinner, but it's it, it, it will look a lot more like it when I, when I finish doing the inking now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember, follow me uh, at The Grateful Artist. Uh, I'm on Instagram, at The Grateful Artist. You can also uh, follow me here. Please subscribe. Uh, the more you subscribe, the more I can do these videos. And uh, see you soon.